What's good? We back now. Where do we leave? Um, we left off what I was trying to explain the whole less is more thing, and we did just a quick uh, volume mix. So just adjusting volumes, not doing anything crazy. Um, okay, off camera. This is what I've done. I've now added some background elements to my drop. And like I said, my reference track that I could hear only has, I think, two things or three things. A siren, a vocal chant. That's what I can hear clearly. So there's probably something else that's on very low volume that I, c I can't even hear it. It may be an ARP or something. I don't know. Or it could just be my ears playing tricks on me. But So let's just give or take two main things I can hear. Um, now, like I said before, I know there's going to be some of you who are going to sit there and go, that's not enough, friendly fire. But let me get this straight, you know, like it, it, it can be if you do it properly. So let's have a look at what I did. Um, I did nothing crazy. All I did was I just added an up. I then took the same up and reverse it to get a cool little effect. And I got a pad, which is just uh, from Loop Cloud. Which is beautiful. I've done a review on this. You have to get it. They keep updating it now. It's awesome. It's just a, fr uh, uh, a sample from Loop Cloud. Just a pad. Um, and just the vocal chants. Hey, hey. Alright. Now, this video is going to be now more on the whole... I haven't EQ'd anything. So we're going to EQ. And we're going to do a little bit more mixing just with volume. And then that's it. Then I'm going to go over the next video. My next uh, tip that I have. Okay, so let's take a listen to what we've got. Just the volume mix, right? No EQ. So Tip two when it comes to mixing this is what we're going to get into now. Another thing when I do my research. Another thing that I am guilty of doing. Subtractive EQ, not like additional e EQ. Guys, majority of the time, we don't need to boost. We need to cut. All right. Um, so let's, just, let's do just that. All right. Let's cut things. We don't need to boost. Now, these growls are very, very distorted after I've done some post-processing on them and they're very, like, crunchy. So, there is not really anything else we really need to boost on these bad boys. So, you know, let's let's give this a practice, eh? So, I'll loop the first two bars while it's playing. All right, now, this may get a bit annoying. Actually, no, I'll loop the whole thing so it doesn't get annoying. Now, I do apologize, right? We'll do the growls. Um, I'll just do the growls and then I'm not going to do all of it because then the video will be too long. But then just to get the idea, for you guys to get the idea of subtractive EQ. So uh, we're going to EQ the growls. I'm, I'm happy with the volume. Um, there's another tip too with volume stuff, which I'll get into tomorrow. But So a little, a little bit of processing, nothing too crazy, just some stuff. All right, and we're going to do some EQing. Pay attention, all right? It's all about listening, guys. Don't, 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 don't. You know, use your eyes. Music's a, it's a, we listen. So that's why you may be wondering why I've turned on um the view waveforms. It's so, I can't tell like what's peaking and stuff. So it forces me to use my ears. It's a little trick you guys can try too. You just come up to here. You just go view waveforms. Um, so let's get into the EQ. Remember, we're going to do some subtractive stuff. There's, in my opinion, nothing here needs to be boosted. So... Um, let's get it.
what I did just there, I got the second uh, EQ on there and I just like to do that so then I don't have like so much shit trying to clash with each other within the one EQ. But on the second EQ, I've just got a simple um, uh, scanning for dirty frequencies, like frequencies or that, 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 that frequencies and things that um don't sound too good and you just dip them out, duck them out. So let's go on to the next crowd. <laughs> Here we go. See, this is something interesting I wasn't expecting to happen. Sometimes when you boost, I actually like the way this sounds with around 500 boosted. It sounds kind of cool. Yeah, I like that a lot, so we're going to keep it. Okay, another tip when we come to EQing, I'll get deeper into this as well later on. Um, sounds that are clashing together, you have to then accommodate, you know. So, a thing you can do is you open up the first growl, have a look. Okay, so I've ducked here. So, for the, this growl, why don't I boost here just a little bit, just to sort of even things back out within the frequency range, you know what I mean? It's all about listening. You can use your eyes to help visualize what's going on, but the most important thing, guys, is your ears. Listen and, you know, use your ears, like... So you can see what I've done there. I've done a lot more subtractive EQing than I did boosting. Um, on my phone, yes it is. Um, yeah, get into these habits, guys. Um, like I'm not like trying to be a narc. Like I'm, I'm showing you things that I've learned and what the big artists do. Um, now I'm not saying you have to do this all the time. There's like you saw one of those growls I boosted because it sounded cool. I liked it. It added characteristic to the whole sound. So I did it. But it's all about trusting your instinct and also just keeping in mind that with dubstep, the growls especially are very dirty and gritty. That majority of the time, you do not need to boost anything. It's going to be more cutting and more keeping it clean and sort of in control instead of letting the sound start to peak and the peaks start to go all over the place. Um... So yeah, this is just another quick one that we're going to add into the whole uh, little research chain we've got going on. So, granalizing, volume mixing first before anything, you do your post-processing cut in your EQ rather than boost. And you know, the end result can be pretty nice. So I'll play it one more time um, and then I'll see you guys in the next video.